This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make nigiri sushi, all right? And I have this beautiful, beautiful King Kampachi from Riviera Seafood Club, and they provide fresh seafood straight to your door, restaurant quality stuff, and so we're gonna use this today. Ooh, shout out to Riviera Seafood Club. Thank you for hooking it up with this amazing fish. I'm gonna fillet this fish. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, it would be like pretty much any other fish. And then we're gonna slice for nigiri. I'll show you how to do that in very detail too. And I'll show you how to do the actual uh, steps of making nigiri, okay? So let's get started. Now I'm gonna take just the head off. Oh, and by the way, they kill it by the process of of ikejime, as you can see right here, that's where they uh, stabbed it in the brain. It's more humane and also keeps the meat uh, fresher much longer because they bleed it out as well. All right. Now I'm gonna flip the fish. And you're gonna go into the flesh. there it is and you can see here that there's pretty much no meat left behind not even around the spine I know a lot of people when they fillet you just kind of go boom and then just down the bone or whichever way you go so if you just run your knife down the spine and if that's how you fillet look how much look how much meat you're gonna miss right you see under this part of the knife you're never gonna get that if you just do that, all right? So that's why I always do both sides and just scrape up the spine instead of just, sure, this is faster, you know, but you're never gonna get a clean fillet like that. We'll just cut this off. We have a bone right here. There we go, see that bone? So grill this up, delicious. This is so good. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the rib cage off. Look at how beautiful this meat is. So just above the center. There you go. There you go little tiny piece of the tail off hold the tail with the towel and the only thing you're doing here is really just wiggling the skin and you're holding the knife nice and flush against the board when you skin the belly side and when you see that there's this layer of kind of sh white shine left then that's when you know you did a good skin job and the top side is not going to look um, it's not gonna be like white because it's a different color on the top. So it's gonna be a little darker gray. See that? The best on the Kampachi is the belly side. So I'm gonna check the, uh, the bloodline first. It's very thin, so that's good. Just a little bit of the bloodline is perfectly fine. And you can eat it, it's not gonna change the flavor, it's not fishy. Uh, don't worry too much about it. But if it's like this, if it's sort of thick like this, you can trim that off a little. So now, it should be a little thinner, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting on the tail side, and I gotta start at a pretty steep angle here. Not like this, because that's gonna be too short. Nigiri has to be about three fingers long. That's kind of like, a, there's a, like a little three finger rule. So it has to be at least three fingers long. So first piece is just gonna be kind of like a scrap piece that you can use for like rolls and stuff. And the next piece is gonna be the real piece here. About that width from, so count about right here to here. Should be about three fingers. And 
and I cut in and right at the end here right there at the end slightly change my angle and cut straight down so you create that very fine edge here we're gonna slice this one a little bit differently we're gonna follow this angle here I'm just gonna trim that first piece off and then now I have a nice nice edge there that's a perfect size starting at the heel cut all the way down use the tip to slice it off you also do like this when you cut sashimi just like this Jocelyn wants to cut one all right go ahead give it a try so the way you hold the knife you have to put your finger on top like this gives you more control when you're cutting sashimi start at the heel of the knife yep real thin yep and just slice down yep slice don't crush yep slice Keep going, keep going, you're good. Yep, perfect. Ooh. Looks good. Thank you Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. They are a subscription box introducing people to cool new products each month. Every box is worth at least $70, but you only pay $45. They're actually really cool because they have over 12 boxes to choose from each month. And if you don't like any of the 12, they allow you to skip the month. So you don't lose anything. And I chose three boxes for myself uh, just to show you guys some of the stuff they have. So first one, this is a 256 layer Damascus steel knife. Look at this beauty. It's real sharp. Can cut my hair right off. And they have a lot of good stuff for like outdoorsy kind of people, as you can tell with the knife and this next one right here, this box. But it comes with this book, wire saw, paracord bracelet. Also comes with the knife. Look at that, it's freaking hefty. I like knives. And the third box, just to give you some variety, got this box of caffeine. These are all coffee beans, three things of coffee beans, and two cans of cold brew. Use my code CHEF20 to get 20% off your first subscription box. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check them out. Go see if you like any of the boxes they have. And thank you again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Now, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. So I think here's a good tip. You see some of these fish, they fold really easily, like this. Or a better way to show you is that if I use my knife, if I put it on top of the knife, it folds over the knife fairly easily. So that's gonna, so the nigiri for this piece is gonna be easy to make. But if I take a piece like this, it doesn't fold, it doesn't fold over the knife. It's pretty stiff, because the belly side in general is a little bit more, uh, has a little more texture. So what I do is I'll score it. Now it'll fold over just like the other one. And it also looks good too. This allows the fish to sort of hug the rice because you want it to be one piece. You don't want it to be just rice and then just a fish plopped on top. You want it to be one single piece. So by scoring it, you're allowing the fish to embrace the rice and become one piece. Okay, so I'll do that with some of the pieces that are a little stiffer. Amberjack is one of the fish that doesn't need much preparation at all. We use all kinds of other fish that need to be salt cured, or it needs to be salt and sugar cured, it needs to be smoked, it needs to be seared, it needs to be uh, marinated. We do all kinds of preparations for different kinds of fish, but amberjack really holds well on its own. So you'd have to do nothing with amberjack. All you do is fillet it, skin it, and cut it into pieces, and it's delicious just like that. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to make the actual nigiri itself. Just a little bowl of water, and you need sushi rice, of course. Also, wasabi. So first thing, wet your hand just a tiny bit. Just your whole hand should be slightly moist. Now you're gonna grab a ball of rice, just like this. This is if you're right-handed, okay? Grab a piece of fish in your left hand, across your fingers, take your index finger, get a little wasabi on there, place the rice underneath, or on top of the wasabi. Now I'm gonna shape it into like a square. And I'm also doing this, I'm also pushing my thumb into the rice. 
just like that okay and the reason I push the thumb into the rice that's like a little special technique so you can when you eat it you have this kind of pocket of air in between so it makes the rice a little fluffier a little lighter flip it onto middle finger and thumb middle finger and thumb and then place it back on your fingers just like that now I'm going to take my middle finger and thumb again and I'm going to pinch the sides just like this okay now I'm going to one finger some people use two fingers I like using one and just pressing the top just slightly just ever so lightly and then you're going to come back and do the same thing pinch the top pinch the sides again okay now you're going to turn the fish and do the same thing one two three okay now you should have nice looking nigiri symmetrical all the way throughout and the roundness should be like a little nice and round at the top not so round but not so flat either all right now let me show it to you a little bit faster okay rice boom pinch the sides pinch turn just like that that's it yeah so don't use too much rice it's just a small bowl like this should be about 10 grams that was a little fast huh let me show you in slow-mo fish is like this and the rice is here 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 sort of that bow shape that's what you're looking for oh there it is guys there's a plate of nigiri let me brush a little soy sauce on all of them uh, so when I used to work at Hinata you know, the omakase sushi restaurant we used to serve kampachi every day uh, it's like one of the fish that we had every day and we served it with lime zest and it's really good kampachi especially the belly side with lime zest is so good next thing let's use some yuzu kosho yuzu kosho yuzu is a japanese citrus and kosho is pepper citrus pepper basically and this is a little spicy so it just needs a little dab on top and the last one we'll do a little bit of the kizami wasabi chopped wasabi here it is guys all done if you guys want some kampachi 
hit them up, Riviera Seafood Club. I'll put the link in the description below so you can get your own and make your own sushi. Uh, and you can order just the filet as well. You don't have to get the whole entire fish. I'm just drinking some tea today. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With lime zest, so simple, so delicious. It just like brightens up the whole fish and it just, the citrus goes really well with it. Um, the texture of Kampachi is really good. It's um, like a little bit firmer yellowtail. And the flavor, mmm, that's good. Let me try this one. Yuzu kosho. I like the lime zest more than the yuzu kosho. Oh yeah? Yeah, lime zest is good. If you saw the previous video, we did a video with bluefin tuna, also from Riviera Seafood Club. And that was delicious. And I think, yeah, this is really good, but that one was really, really good. So I think I do like the bluefin a little bit better than the kampachi, but kampachi is one of my favorite white fish, that's for sure. Mm. The texture is so on point with kampachi, it's so good. If you guys never tried kampachi, you gotta try kampachi. I think I like the bluefin better, mm. but I kind of like this one better. The with the lime zest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well guys, still quarantined, but luckily I have these amazing guys at Riviera Seafood Club that, to send me some fresh fish so I don't have to go out and catch my own right now. Just uh, deliver straight to your door. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Hope you learn how to make sushi and you can try it on your own. Thanks for watching. Peace.